humans are causing Earth to wobble more as it spins. NASA finds. Okay, here we go. Another article pushing global warming, climate change. Again, we got to get into humans are causing more and more problems with the Earth. When is it ever going to end? Let's get into it right after this. Hey, it's Robbie D. I'm uh, from Celebrate Truth. If you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, and sit back because we're going to get into NASA finding more information about our Earth. This one from Forbes magazine. The article came out a couple of days ago. I wanted to be able to cover it because it gets absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how many people are buying what NASA is selling, but I definitely am not, and especially when it starts pushing the climate change, global warming narrative. We see this time and time again. Now, humans are responsible for causing more of a wobble to the Earth as it spins. All right, let's get into it. An in-depth study conducted by NASA found that humans are responsible for the increasing wobble detected as Earth spins on its axis. I should put an LOL behind that sentence just because it's so laughable. Do you know that there's absolutely zero scientific proof whatsoever um, conducting that the Earth even moves, let alone spins on its axis? And now the wobble is created more by humans? Let's get into this. When we think of Earth, you may think of an exact sphere. But Earth is actually an oblate spheroid. And actually, not just an oblate spheroid, as Neil deGrasse Tyson says many times, it's pear-shaped. That's right, pear-shaped. We've seen those pictures from NASA, but we're being told it's an oblate spheroid. Pockmarked with mountains and deep ocean trenches, these all combine to unevenly distribute weight across Earth's surface. This uneven distribution of weight on Earth's surface is one reason why Earth wobbles on its axis as it spins. Recent research by NASA found that the wobble of Earth as it spins is broken up in three primary factors. Three primary factors glacial rebound, melting of ice, and mantle convection. Previously, scientists believed glacial rebound to be the primary factor in causing Earth to wobble. However, NASA believes these factors are equally responsible for about a third of Earth's wobble. Let's cover the three factors and what they mean. By first, you may find it interesting to visit NASA's interactive polar motion simulation. All right, so if anyone is interested, I'm going to link in the description this article if you really care about seeing the NASA's interactive polar motion simulation. People always ask me, what are they doing exactly? If they're faking a lot of this and they're not telling the truth about space travel, what exactly are they doing with $53 million a day? Well, all I know is that maybe $1 million of that three of that $53 million is going towards all of their lovely little CGI graphic simulations they do they have tons of them if you actually go i think that's really where a lot of this money is going is building these simulations and letting people believe that they are in outer space with rovers driving around on mars the first factor is glacial rebound or isostatic rebound what scientists previously thought was the primary contributor to earth's wobble imagine earth as a very large balance ball similar to the one in the photo below let's see the below oh there it is Right? Imagine the Earth like that. Okay? That's the Earth right now, the balance ball. Let's go back here. So uh, imagine it as the, the balance ball, similar to the photo below. As you can see, the lady on the balance ball is compressing the ball where she is in contact with the ball, causing a dent. To compensate for this, the sides of the ball just outside of the lady's outline bulge outwards. This is an example of where large glacial cover landmasses, such as North America. During the Ice Age, about 26.5 thousand years ago, large expanses of land were covered in heavy glaciers. Now, first of all, this 26.5 thousand years ago, they have no clue, absolutely no clue whatsoever. This is the science mainstream narrative, just like we are, you know, billions of years old in the galaxy. You know, all of this stuff is not scientific whatsoever. This is a basically theories, consensus of the scientific community, but again, they have no clue whatsoever. This dispressed land underneath the glaciers and caused land to bulge outward around the perimeter of the glaciers. However, as the glaciers melted, the land, just like the ball, would regain its original shape. This process is called glacial rebound as Earth regains its original shape. The process is quite slow, 
meaning Earth is still rebounding from the last ice age. This is what scientists previously thought accounted for the entire wobble of the Earth. But guess what? Good old NASA comes to the rescue. Now, we know that there are two other factors that influence Earth's wobble. Melting of ice, particularly on Greenland, was found by NASA to account for one-third of the Earth's wobble. This surprisingly finding direct, uh, sorry, directly linked human actions with altering Earth's wobble. As humans continue to artificially warm the planet through releasing greenhouse gases, ice on land continued to melt at unprecedented rates. NASA estimates that 7,500 gigatons of Greenland's ice have melted into the ocean in the 20th century. This equals the weight of 20 million Empire State Buildings. The transfer of weight from Greenland to redistributed across the globe has caused the Earth to wobble more than it would have otherwise. All right, are you ready for the last factor? The last factor accounting for a third of Earth's wobble is mantle convection. Oh, isn't that nice? Mantle convection. This is an ongoing process in Earth's interior where molten rock is heated, rises in the mantle, cools off, and falls back closer to Earth's core. Convection within the mantle is driving a mechanism of plate tectonics, earthquakes, volcanoes, mountain ranges, and deep sea trenches. All right, we have all seen this diagram, have we not? We've seen this diagram many times. Here's the reality. The furthest that man has drilled into the earth is eight miles. Eight miles. That's right, eight miles. You've got the outer core, the inner core, you've got the mantle. Understand, they've only drilled into the crust and they haven't even got through the crust. They lead you to believe, and they show this diagram continue in all the schools about all the different layers of the earth. They have no clue. And yet now, this is the reason why we are wobbling. In total, NASA found the Earth's spin axis has drifted about 10 meters in the 20th century alone. As ice continues to melt from continental masses such as Greenland, we will continue to see increased wobble as Earth spins. Thankfully, the wobble is not large enough to impact ecosystems or our daily life. Oh, thank goodness for that. While it can impact navigation, modern technology can accurately account for changes in Earth's wobble. All right, now I'd like to see any navigation system, period, that accounts for Earth's wobble. Does anyone know of anything that accounts for Earth's wobble? All right, we've definitely heard of the Coriolis. We've heard of, you know, Earth spinning. And, you know, while we look and we have people coming forward, whether they're in range military, looking into shooting of guns, cannons, missiles, no one's taking into account the Coriolis. But when we come down to the wobble, what type of system is in place where they account for the Earth's wobble? Again, more lies, continual lies from mainstream science. And again, pushing the narrative that we all got to do our part to save the planet. What is surprising is how much humans are changing the fundamental nature of Earth and how it operates. Continuing to monitor Earth's wobble and its changes can act as a barometer for how much ice has melted here on Earth and put humans' role on Earth into an astronomical perspective. Oh, so again, another fear-mongering article talking about if we don't really get a grip, if we don't, you know, stop global warming, climate change, all of our activities that are polluting the environment, you know, carbon is dangerous, having children is bad for the environment. All of these narratives are nothing but a new world order directive in linking everything together, especially when it comes to the earth. And really we find this time and time again. Now humans are causing the earth to wobble. Give me a break. First of all, earth, you know, humans are accounting for warming up the earth and other planets and causing havoc. And you got to remember that the earth was created special and unique. It can withstand anything that humans try to throw at it. And again, while it's good to be a good steward of the earth and, you know, try to be clean and do your part, this is getting to a point of an agenda that's so overboard where now NASA comes in and now NASA is finding that humans are causing the earth to wobble more as it spins because of global warming, because of global warming. Give me a break. This is just nonsense, constant nonsense we see with this narrative. And to me, I just had to do a quick video on it because, again, this is Forbes. These are other publications that are pushing this narrative based on we've got to do our part because the Earth 
is going to be in big jeopardy if we don't all band together in unity and do something. Again, nonstop lies from the global lie to the axial lie to the spinning lie to the spinning ball flying through space lie that many of us have already done amazing amounts of research and so many people are doing great work on this topic you need to look into it you need to find out that this is an agenda on so many different levels not just to prepare us for what's coming but also pushing mainstream agendas like climate change getting on board you know everyone's got to do their part all the countries of the world we band together we're going to save the planet but please wobble now nasa is finding that humans are causing the earth to wobble notice how everything comes down to the humans we've all got to basically do our part because Mother Earth is crying out. We hear this all the time, no, nonstop Gaia worship, where it's Mother Earth. Oh, she's hurting. We're hurting the planet. We're doing this damage. You know, pay your carbon taxes and we can solve all the problems. This is continual propaganda. This is more lies from NASA. Start looking into the facts. On my channel, I've done a few documentaries on climate change, global warming. Again, it's just another lie of scientism. Also, the Big Bang, that we were created out of nothing, more nonsense, not scientific at all, getting into evolution, getting into all the areas that science likes to push in the mainstream media, whether it's Bill Nye or Neil deGrasse Tyson or Brian Cox, you got all these characters that come forward showcasing and making cool, science is cool. And now we got Elon Musk making space travel cool, putting cars out in space and people believing that nonsense more and more stuff is basically coming together we're starting to see we're starting to connect the dots in what's really going on in this world this is just one example where nasa is coming in not just with space travel and you know lying to us about rovers on mars but also pushing the narrative that we all have to pay our carbon tax we've got to get ready and do our part because we're going to destroy the planet people it's time to speak up it's time to share videos like this get the word out get people looking into different areas because maybe they're not looking into the moon missions and they want to believe that that actually took place but maybe they're upset at how much they're pushing climate change and you know making you pay for bags now at the grocery store i mean it's unbelievable to me that they charge for bags at the grocery store oh it's only five cents they say but it all adds up but one store did it then all the rest and I remember I was there one day and they said, but well, don't you want to do your part for the planet? And I'm like, no, actually, I don't. This is ridiculous. You're just making more money. You're making a mockery of this whole thing, saying that we can save the planet by paying for paper bags. And I think in California, they're trying to make it illegal for plastic bags. Again, this entire worship of Gaia, Mother Earth, and we need to save the planet and all these methods, especially paying carbon tax in my country of Canada, I have no choice, but I have to pay carbon tax. Whether I believe in it or not, I have to pay carbon tax to basically help save the planet. It's ridiculous. It's it's basically nothing but robbery. If you understand where the money's going, it's not solving anything. Everything is basically staying the same way. Weather will continually change in time. Weather patterns always change throughout history. Nothing is new under the sun, just like Ecclesiastes says in the Bible. It's all there. It's been there all along. And if you want to know the truth, you just need to look to the one that claimed to be the truth. So we'll leave it at that. Again, I want to do a quick video on more nonsense from NASA. Now saying that we're the cause of Earth wobbling more. I'll tell you one thing. We don't get a handle of this. How much is it going to wobble? Is it going to wobble right off its axis and then right off its orbit? And heaven forbid we all die. But maybe that's the way they're going to go. Scare us some more. Maybe it's going to be a meteor. Maybe it's going to be an asteroid. Maybe it's going to be some sort of cosmic collision. But again, it will be nothing but fear to get people in line to believe all the nonsense they teach about space, the Earth, and everything you understand from an early age about your origins. I'm sick and tired of it. Want to do a quick video. I will put on the 24-7 stream in about two minutes after this ends. So thank you so much. Blessings to you all. Take care.